Welcome back, everybody, to another episode of Gay Let's Play Dragon Age Inquisition. Oh, here's the rune. Uh, in our last episode, we made it into the Temple of Solasan, which seems to be reacting to all the shards we've been collecting up to this point. Ancient writing, the meaning behind the flowing ancient script is obscure at first, but slowly forms. May the path bestow the favor thou hast earned. For a moment, there is an image of figures kneeling in meditation. A bright light envelopes them, then it fades. Cool. Ooh. Nice, I had enough shards to open. So it seems like the deeper you go, the more shards are required to open these doors. So I can at least go in and get some resistances. Some resistances for art. Fire resistance. Here, take this. There you go, resist this, punks. Goodbye. I presume you know what they will say of Corypheus, warrior. Darkspawn, Magna, relic of an unwanted past, don't keep me in suspense. They will say he is Tevinter. No. <laughs> I'm aware you claim to be here to counter that, but the damage is done. I'm not here on behalf of my nation's reputation, Vivian. I'm here to do what is right. If only more of your countrymen felt as you do. Loot. Fire essence, belt of fire resistance. Nice. And I've got plus four fire resistance. Perfect. Shards collected, 10 out of 12. The door requires more shards than you're carrying. Okay, well let's go grab my, my cold resistance. And then we'll make our way back here at some other point, once I collect more shards. Cool! There isn't any electricity resistance ones, I noticed. Oh, you guys. resistance and belt of cold resistance. What a surprise. Let's do cold resistance. Have your legion army armor. It's probably going to be not enough shards to open this, I'm assuming. Yeah, I need 12. I need 12. Corpse rain. 73 gold. We are good. All right, well, we will be back here at a later point in the game. Now that we know what this is all about, and I kind of figured out a way to get here, hopefully I'll remember the next time I'm back here at the Forbidden Oasis again. At least one would hope. Okay. There's something on going on at this side of the map, which I want to figure out. Although I don't think it's... Oh, it's probably up above. Yeah. It's okay. I presume you know what they will say of Corypheus, Dorian. You already said that! Darkspawn, Madman, Relic of an Un... There are the doors, and then there's more shards over here. Shard, shard, shard. Well, try to make our way. Past? Don't keep me in suspense. They will say he is Tevinter. No. I'm aware you claim to be here to counter that, but the damage is done. I'm not here on behalf of my nation's reputation, Vivian. I'm here to do what is right. If only more of your countrymen felt as you do. Right, exactly. Thank you for that, though, Dorian, for doing what's right. Your motivations are what art 
appreciates and respects. He's not here for the, his country, he's here for him. Because he wants to be able to do the right thing. No matter how unpopular he may personally be because of his heritage. Which kind of sounds like a lot of uh, art in many ways. You know, a, a lot of, a lot of, there's a lot of simula similarity between art and Dorian in that sense now that I think about it. And I think that's why they make such a good couple. Okay. This is going to require us to go to camp for a rest. Okay. Well done. And there's also a yeah, there's also a bunch of things going on up here. I still have the veil veil fire torch, that's awesome. Although I don't see it flaming I don't see it burning. Shard over here, we've got some elf roots, I can make more potions. There's one up there. That's gonna be a little bit trickier. Um, I guess that bridge over there looks promising. Duclux Path. Something over here too. Paragon Luster. Shard. Start up there. I don't think this is gonna take me up there. No, not so much. It's okay. Uh. Come on. Oh, come on, Art. over this way. Oh. What's back over here? I'm sure you know exactly what you're doing, Solus. But a word of advice? Oh, I look forward to this. Mm. Go ahead, Enchanter. You set your coattails on fire with that last spell. <laughs> Perhaps what you perceived was merely a figment of the Fade. I would not claim your familiarity with the Fade, but I recognize fire when I see it, darling. It did go out eventually. It was not worth mentioning. Not for you, perhaps. Dust drop. Alright, I think I'm getting a little too far out for my taste. So, let's go back. See if I can get make up my way and collect a few more shards before we end our time here in the oasis and probably move on. I'm I'm thinking we can well after taking care of things with Josephine and um, other side quests like with Sutherland, we can move on to the actual core of the story because I want to see Alistair. That is where I want to go next. Um, we'll see if there's a way for me to get over to. This section over there. So I can grab that shard. Yeah, we're back here again. Here we go. Okay, dust drop. Here we are again. And I am trying to get to that thing. I can go this way. No, I have to go across that bridge. Fair enough. Okay, let's 
see if the we can get the shard here. Yep. This is right. Cool. Okay, now there's one here, and then there's two down there. So I think once I capture those, if I manage to figure those out, uh, by the time my time runs out, then we can continue on. I feel like I have to go through this cave again. So be it. Because I think there was another pathway that I could have taken in this cave that I didn't take. So let me see if I can remember which way I went before and then go the opposite direction. Yeah, because I went up here. Or maybe there wasn't a choice. Well, let's see. Because I end up here, and then there's... Suolasan. on that area. I forgot how to get to that area. Um, do I cross from here? Maybe. I mean, there's a big bridge thing. Maybe. Although I feel like it's not, that's not gonna work out quite so well. No, because it doesn't seem like there's a decent way to get up this to that ramp. Although, it looks so inviting, though. Oh, maybe I can go this way. Or not. I feel like I can't. No, I can't. Oh, Liliana's ready to report in. Cool. It's nice to know that I'm still making progress through my agents, uh, even while I'm still out here in the field. Oh, come on. Oh, jeez. Don't tell me I can't go up this thing. Ugh. Really? I can't walk up this thing? Really? Really? Okay. That was a bust. Bottles over there, a random bottle. Alright, I'm gonna try to go this way instead. There's a ladder and everything over here, so maybe this is the right way. This feels like it's the right way. Cavern. I still haven't found the key. That'll come later, I'm sure. Ah! I don't... Discovered Ritual Rock. Region of the Oasis quest completed. I believe I sense one of the artifacts of my people. Sense it too. The wards are working. So these keep... These are supposed to keep demons away? Okay. And we get XP for it and Inquisition points for it, so... That's good. Shard. Serpent stone here. Fourteen. Okay, so I need eighteen shards to open thirteen out of fifteen. All right, good to know. Next shard, closest shard. Well, there's a rift here. I want to go to that rift and then get the shard as well. Ooh. I'll take it. There's the rift. Serpent stone. Dragon thorn. Read. Mysterious book. A, ca a page from a charred book. You offer a sip of water while they provide a feast. You know they speak of the same wickedness, but place it in you. I have heard them speak, and I have listened. I hear the whispers of all. Let them offer silver while you give gold. Let them think themselves your betters and know nothing more. 
Would you not purge the world of wickedness, of those who speak against you? Would they not do the same? If we do not have an agreement, then I shall depart. When I am through, none shall speak of treachery. When all have given word, then all shall be appeased. Written in the margins. Must remember the words, the right materials on the flame in the right order. Earth, the vine, the file, then the blood. The blood comes last, no missteps, one wrong move, and the binding will not work. But if it does, all my enemies will quake. It sounds like the phylactery steps, but I have a feeling it's diff this one's different. It does look like there's a phylactery here. So, ritual rock. So a ritual took place here? Oh, there's another shard. Nice. One more shard over here. Oof. Can't quite get over there right this moment. Serpent stone. Serpent stone. There's a ladder there, I think. I think there's a ladder there. What's this box thing? Ooh. What is this thing? Warden helmet and a bigger staff. Ooh. I feel like I have to go down this way now. France crossing. How did you guys get down there already? Ouch. I leveled though. Ooh, I get to have my first specialization point. Spirit Blade. You create a blade of solid magic to make melee attacks against nearby enemies, bypassing their guards and barriers. Ooh! 300% weapon damage, bonus damage versus barrier, 200% bonus damage versus guard, 400% cost, 10 mana attack, 10 mana per attack while active. Ooh. So I can toggle it on and off. Gotcha. Okay, everybody, this is it. Maybe I should put a barrier on myself. Oh, I already have a barrier on myself. Come on. Let me see if I can use my spirit blade. Spirit blade, spirit blade. Ooh, nice. Oh wow, that's pretty awesome. Okay. Use a mana while I gotcha. Beautiful. Um. Grab them all. Oh no, you don't. Drop this thing. Beautiful. Take that. Ah, and that. Nice. Okay, art, focus. You gotta close this thing, buddy. Good boy. Oh, that's glorious. Love that. Alright, I am definitely going to be making good use of this blade. Very cool. I'm excited for my specialization. Alright. One more thing is that shard over there. And then I think I'll be able to move on. But that's just the veil fire forts that we don't really need anymore. As far as I'm, as far as I'm aware. Yeah, it's up above. Gotta get up there. The ladder might help a little bit. You can definitely hear it. 
I'm glad that they added that as a special feature, like adding sound near a shard just so it helps you. Oh, here we go. There we go. It helps you find it. Gold Summerstone Pyrophyte. Huh. Beautiful. Now I can open the next door if I wanted to, but I think I'm going to save it. Okay, um, yeah, I think this is good enough for now. There's a rift we probably should close over there. Yeah, let's go do that real quick. Because it's, I mean, it's there. And then I can go back and sell stuff, and then I can help Josephine, and all that good stuff. So let's go ahead and head out to this rift. Yep, I see you. I'm wondering if I have enough focus for for um, Solus at this point. Bloodstone. Ooh, cool. I needed that for something. All right. Ready, everybody? Uh -oh. Back off. This spell. There we go. Wave two. Coming up. Oh, okay, alright, you guys. Here. Solus, let him have it. Yes, Meteor Tower. Oh, you guys don't even have a chance. Teammate! This is a great way to go out. Oh, take that. Nice. Oh, Art, that is awesome. Cool. I'm very proud, Team Mage. You have shown that this, this can work. Explosive shot ring. Ooh, yummy. All right. And then it looks like we can claim this in the name of the Inquisition. The Marker. The sand stretched for miles, broken occasionally by a stony outcrop. The monotony was wearing, and the longer we traveled, the more I feared we would never escape it. Suddenly, my guide pointed, and I caught sight of two distant pillars. As we rode towards them, a statue of a man became visible. Despite his stern countenance and the fact that we, he, held his head, uh, he held the head of some vanquished enemy, I have never seen so welcoming a face. The oasis itself lies within a canyon. From a distance, one might see only more, more desert. The rocky hills surrounding it look the same as any other rocky hills, were it not for the pillars and man. The place would not appear remarkable at all when I expressed sense thought, sent these thoughts to my guide. She laughed and said she would find the spot even without them. I conceded the point, not wishing to insult her skill. Still, I am grateful to the bygone sculptor who placed the statue here. Excerpt from the Journal of Henry Doucette, Enver's Mining Company, Representative and Amateur Historian. Cool. Let's go home, everybody. All in a day's work. Back to Skyhold. Woo! Nice. And with that, I am going to be psyched to help out with finding Al. Mm, so close! So close! I'm assuming if you didn't make Al um, a Grey Warden, then the person you're going to be stalking to, talking to would be Stroud. Or maybe even Loghain, because I think you can also f see Loghain take over for Stroud if he became a Grey Warden instead of Alistair, so... Oh, it's gonna be cool, because I know I missed out on seeing Alistair during Dorian's side quest with Women of the Future with the Pendant and all, and Queen Anora came. But, I think I'm gonna much prefer seeing him as a Grey Warden, personally. Um, again, because I only like putting Alistair on the throne if if I have a female human noble that can marry him in the throne. Because then, ruling together with his love 
is not going to be that bad. I think that's the only way he would be genuinely happy, is if he was on the throne with his love. Uh, the only way he'd be happy on the throne. Because then, you know, he's got his lovely wife to back him up, just like Honora backed up her husband. So, you know, history repeats, but that's okay in this case, because... I think that Ferelden would still benefit highly from it, if not mostly from it. Yeah, that's my story. I'm going to stick to it. Um, so yeah, we had a water break from my Reese's Peanut Butter Cup mug, which I love. That actually isn't mine. I think it's my roommate's. Although I really like it, though. I wish it were mine. Let me go save real quick, because we've done a lot. There's a lot of saves here. All right, I am going to head for the war room. Uh, we'll talk to Josephine first because there's probably another step. And I'm assuming Josephine is not dead because that would be such a disappointment. Josephine. What's our next move? What's the next favor we need to get these do paraquets a lordship? We need a judge of the royal court to procure documents acknowledging them as nobility again. I thought we did that. Let me make sure. I thought we did that. Let me just go to the summon the war council real quick. All right, hello, friends. Getting a judge's favor. Inquisitor, Judge Ald has signed the papers we need to present the Du Paraquets as nobility again. There is now only one step left. A royal minister must ratify them. Please come see me when you have a chance. The judge passes on his compliments, by the way. Apparently the hunt was a marvelous bit of sport, and our soldiers acquitted themselves bravely against something called a screaming man-eater. The infirmary reassures me the injured will make a full recovery. Josephine, rewards received. Heck yes. Conscript for the Inquisition. We have our first group of recruits. I will continue to search for more. Now the tricky part. Training. Cullen. Round pommel. Cool. Oh no, I didn't want to do that. Well, I, well, I can go back and talk to Josephine. Talk to Josephine real quick. Because I think she has to tell me what the next step is in order to get the Any next news quest. On the House of Repose, Inquisitor? What's our next move? What's the next favor we need to get these do paraquets a lordship? We must persuade Minister Belize to ratify the papers. She's in charge of these matters of rank. The minister will be at a small fete thrown by the Marquis Wiscott. I'll get you an invitation. Ooh. Speak with Minister Belize at party operation available. Okay. Let's do it. Still, that's okay. Red Jenny attends a party. It, it appears our detracting lord found shame in the dark, thanks to a scandalous laugh. Also, blind fets are now the rage. Can Red Jenny claim that? Orle remains Orle. 104 gold. Cool. Speak with Minister Belize at a party. Red Jenny in the bad goods. Sarah cannot simply vandalize our reports. There is no record of any of this. A memo from Josephine written on a letter from outlying landholder. Inquisition leaders, I have reports of a gathering of resources to be moved into venatory hands. I send this with the hope that you have the means to track who may be responsible. I overheard the possibility, but further inquiry yielded no more detail. It is unfolding well above my station. Dear Sir Gaston of Wildervale, Sarah has scrawled several notes below, also a sketch of a randy nug herder. Squire with a limp says horses for twenty, small force. The reef armors say they were kicked out of homes. Root? Merton says the carts are heavy for carrying armor weapons. Says they shortchanged him, so he didn't tell no, tell about Wobbly Wheel. We'll slow them through pass. Easy pickings, right? Half of the things, more than half of the things Sarah says just goes right over my head. A few altered signs will waylay them in the bin marks. A trade caravan will have supplies to last. If their stock happens to be mostly weapons, they won't last long. Wow, that's pretty devious. It's pretty dark there, Liliana. Block lo blockading. 
a caravan is a small but provocative matter. Do we trust this information? Colin doesn't seem to have his heart set on that. Buying out the caravan could expose whether it is led by an honest merchant or a conspirator against us. Hmm. Is there another one that came up? No? Okay. Speak with Minister Belize at party. Uh, Ambassador Montelier, forgive the late reply. Wonderful as it is to hear from you. I have just ridden from trouble in the Dales. The civil war has made managing my holdings even more difficult. It could be much easier if I had the ear of the Council of Heralds, but alas, fortune has left me poor in that regard. The Inquisitor is always welcome at one of my humble fetes. I only regret that it may not be as grand as I would like. Please, dear lady, promise me you will earn his worship, worship that my preoccupation will, will preclude a richer evening with my guests. With deep regard, Marquise Wiscott. The Marquise is clearly fishing for an introduction to the council before you attend this party. I'll arrange one. At your service. I like parties. Art likes parties, I think. Um. Red Jenny, all that glitters, gather materials. Wasn't there one for Dorian? This is what I wanted to have Liliana do because of our because of the Let's see what we have. The waste is important. They need water. And I wanted Leliana to take care of that so that Cullen's troops doesn't kill off, you know, kill off the animals. Um and I wanted Liliana this mission to help Sutherland, so I thought there was one. Oh, okay. Well, I'll have to help. I'll have to help him with that later. This one, I know that that Collins doesn't have his heart set on. Sponsor for Dupont. Yeah, I know. Completed. Investigate Hunter Fell. Um. I have friends among the Templars. They might know about the supposed apostate. Yeah, let's let's have Colin take care of All this. Right. It's pretty quick. Okay. Uh, Sarah slightly approves. Red Jenny and the bad goods operation available. So, I think that's about it. Unfinished business, yeah, Venatory Magister's birthright, ranges at the war table, Faded. so lost in the exalted plains. Um, looks like Vivienne has a bunch of things in the exalted plains. Um, go to the war table before dawn. Corypheus, blah, 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 Emerald Graves, okay. Okay, I think this is a good place for us to stop, folks. We've got a whole lot of things to do. Um, okay, so thank you guys for watching this episode of Gay Let's Play Dragon Age Inquisition. Tune in next time, everybody, and until then, love yourselves and love each other.